I feel like contemporary costume is a little bit of an underestimated art. And I think that so much goes into contemporary costume when it comes to uh, telling of the story and informing for character. I feel like, you know, a period dress is, a, people see it as a period dress and they don't understand maybe like the socioeconomic elements of that character or the psychological elements of that character. Whereas in contemporary, you're really informing. Like when you meet someone, you have a vision of them just based on how they present, right? So I'm helping to get, tell the character. And that is a, a huge thing. And I also think like literally, I feel like contemporary costume, uh, it not only reflects like current culture, but it informs and has an uh, impact on current culture. And I know for sure that my costumes on this show have impacted the way that older women will want to see themselves or dress. They've opened their eyes to the fact that they don't need to be relegated to the rocking chair. You know, they're like, you can be 75 and be and be fabulous and like advanced style and all those. There's a lot of like older lady, you know, contemporary blogs now and posts and Instagram all about like, I mean, that wasn't just me, but I think it was like in the zeitgeist of what is happening. And I think I reflected that in my show, my work on the show. Well, um, the first season, um, Lily was not convinced. She thought I was, she didn't understand what I was doing. But, um, and, but she was amazing. You know, she was like, okay, like I showed her the research. I showed her all the people that really dress like that. I said, this is a real thing. Women do artist ladies in Germany and Sweden and like usually European ladies, you know, right? Like the asymmetrical thing and the log and look and the layered thing. I said, this is a thing, this is genuine. And she took a minute, she trusted me for that season. But by the time when we came back for the first fitting for a second season, she walked in the room and she was like, do it. Like, no opinion, just trust me, I'm good. Interesting question. I mean, I think they definitely got a little stronger as they went along. And also, um, there was an element of influence of Grace onto Frankie and Frankie onto Grace that I definitely was a very deliberate, played out thing. Jane, the, the Grace character in the beginning, was completely neutral, solid. She never wore print, and now more and more she wears prints. I make all her shirts that are prints that are like the Frankie element into her character. It's Every a jeans and t-shirt show. <laughs> if anyone says that to me again, I'll be like, ah, like what are you all gonna It's never a jeans and t-shirt show. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I mean yeah. It depends. It, I mean the thing is I had great I had Jane Fawn and Lily Tomlin. I was like, guys, this is not gonna be off like off the rack. So it depends on a lot of different elements and where the value is. And I think because we ha the look has been very recognized in the show that that is also recognized and reflected by the show and Netflix is like so supportive and amazing.